Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to show you a simple yet essential tutorial on how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB using a tool called Rufus. This procedure also applies to Windows 10. Firstly, ensure you have a USB flash drive with a minimum of 8GB storage in NTFS file format. The initial step to open Google Chrome. Once you're in, search for Windows 11 Download. Select the first option from the search results and open the official Microsoft website. Here Microsoft provides three options. Number first option, Windows 11 Installation Assistant. This is the best option for reinstalling Windows 11 on the device you are currently using, or you can upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. Number two option, create Windows 11 installation media. If you want to perform a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11 on a new or used PC, use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD. Number three option, download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64-bit devices. This option is for users that want to create a bootable installation media USB flash drive DVD or create a virtual machine ISO file to install Windows 11. This download is a multi-edition ISO which uses your product key to unlock the correct edition. Here I am going to select option 3 to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Now, select an edition from the drop-down menu and click to download now. You can select the product language. From drop-down list, I am selecting English. And click confirm and ISO file will be downloaded. You can find the link in the description. Now you need to download Rufus for free from their official website, rufus.ie. Once you're in, scroll down and search for Rufus 4.3 and click to download and install it. By double-clicking, open the Rufus. It's a lightweight utility that helps us create bootable USB drives. Next, plug in your USB drive to your computer and ensure that Rufus detects it. Now, click on Select and navigate to the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. Make sure to select the correct ISO file. Once you've selected the ISO file, Rufus will automatically populate some of the fields based on the ISO information. Now, you'll want to customize a few settings. Now, under the partition scheme, select GPT if your system uses UEFI or MBR if you have a BIOS system. You can also check your boot system type in Windows by typing system information in the search bar. A new window will open. On the left hand side, select system summary and check the BIOS mode. It should display either BIOS or UEFI. In my case, I am selecting GPT since my BIOS mode is UEFI. For file system, choose NTFS for Windows 11. You can leave the cluster size as default. Remember, these settings might vary depending on your system configuration. After setting these configurations, you can optionally change the volume label if you wish. Double check everything to ensure all settings are correct before proceeding. After that, click Start to begin creating the bootable USB drive. A new window will appear where you will have multiple options. For instance, you can remove the requirement for 4GB plus RAM, Secure Boot and TPM if you have an older device on which you want to install Windows 11. You can keep this option checked. During the Windows 11 installation, you can skip the online Microsoft account requirement by keeping this option checked. Additionally, you will be able to create a local account and enter the account name. Then you have regional update to the same value at this user. You can also keep this option checked to disable data collection. We keep remain unchecked BitLocker Automatic Device Encryption, then click OK. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB will be erased. If you are OK with that, click OK. The time it takes to create the bootable USB drive will depend on your system speed and the size of the ISO file. Once it's done, you'll see a ready status on Rufus. Now you've successfully created a Windows 11 bootable USB drive using Rufus. Now, you can use this USB to install or upgrade to Windows 11 on your system. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials.